explain that dipole moment of chlorobenzene is less than the dipole moment of cyclohexyl chloride. Now in the chlorobenzene, this carbon is sp2 and in the cyclohexyl chloride, this carbon is sp3. Now we know that electronegativity difference that sp2 carbon is more electronegative than sp3 carbon. So since the sp2 carbon is more electronegative, that's why the carbon chlorine electronegativity difference is less. Now here, this sp3 carbon and chlorine electronegativity difference is more. Less electronegativity difference means less bond polarity. And less bond polarity means dipole moment value will be less. Because we know that dipole moment depends on bond polarity and bond polarity depends on electronegativity difference between the atoms in a chemical bond. Since in the chlorobenzene, carbon chlorine electronegativity difference is less because carbon is sp2 hybridized. So bond polarity is less, dipole moment value will be less. And here in the cyclohexyl chloride, electronegativity difference between the sp3 carbon and chlorine is more. So bond polarity is more. Bond polarity is more means dipole moment value will be higher. I hope this explanation is clear to all the students. Thank you for watching this video.